for their mother has played the harlot. She who conceived them has behaved shamefully. So this obviously has to do with the people of Israel as a whole who were so much within harlotry that when Mashiach himself appeared, Yahweh in the flesh was rejected and killed by the people. So um, the same way, one, once Yahushua left, he left with his people, his Ruach, his spirit. The spirit of truth for us to understand scriptures and uh, teach mercy, teach the good news that Yahweh has mercy on us, even though according to the law, we are all under condemnation. So through the Son, we receive mercy, and that's why he made only one way, so that it would be actually very simple. Yet people complicate things, and uh, that's why there are so many beliefs in the world. Because they follow adultery, uh, spiritual fornication, idolatry. So, it says, For their mother has played the harlot, she who conceived them has be behaved shamefully. So, like I was saying, just like the people of Israel behaved this way, the same way once Yahushua started building the congregation, being himself the cornerstone. So, just like Moshe gave the Torah and gave birth to the nation of Israel and they started acting like harlots and that's why Yahweh rejected them as uh, his wife then when Yahushua came for his bride and began the congregation through Rome the apostasy began and well many other things before even Rome meaning before Rome made it uh, Catholicism there were other things that had to do with the apostasy, but for 2,000 years there was an apostasy and that's when the congregation started doing the same that the people of Israel did. So that's why Yahweh now comes to make of those two sections of people, both Israel and Gentiles, both Israel and Yahudim, uh, the north and the south, both um, the few and the many, etc., etc., make one. So, uh, she who conceived them has behaved shamefully, for she said, I will go after my lovers, who give me my bread and my water, my wool and my linen, my oil and my drink. So that shows how people tend to follow a false entity, an idol, as long as that person is getting material things, whatever they need in this reality, in this world. And since they are worshipping entities that are of a lower reality, those entities sometimes do perform certain things for those people. And those people are happy with that. On the other hand, obviously, just like Yahweh gives life, He gives the food, the bread, for everybody to keep on living. However, many people give all the credit for those good things that they receive from Yahweh, they give the credit to the idols. So, just like Satan can give to those who worship him uh, riches, because all the riches of this world were given to him, and that's why in Hebrew, one of his names is God. In Isaiah 65, 11, in Hebrew, his name is God. God means fortune. Some, some translations have Isaiah 65, 11 with the name God. Some of the translations just translated to fortune just in case that's one of yours so he has the fortune of this world that's why he tempted Yahushua with it he said I can give you all the kingdoms of this world because they have been given to me and I give it to whoever I want yet Yahushua did not want to bow down before him of course and then in time there were people who are now known uh, as Illuminati they are illuminated they believe by Lucifer he who bears the light according to the meaning of the Latin name and um, they receive the kingdoms of the world and that's why they are preparing the new world order and that's why they have uh, most of the wealth of the world so I'm saying all of that because just like in Jeremiah Jeremiah was sent to the people to tell them that they should stop worshiping the queen of heaven 
who nowadays is worshipped as Mary. Back in the day, they had the title Queen of Heaven. They used that title with Mary also. Uh, but in Jeremiah appears five times the title Queen of Heaven as the one they were worshipping. I repeat, nowadays they worship the same entity with the name Mary. Yahushua's true mother was named Miriam. So even that is a different name. But they claim is the mother of Messiah, not really is the mother of false Messiah whom they are worshipping through the name Mary or Queen of Heaven or Queen of the Angels and other titles that they give that entity. So Jeremiah complains to the people in, be in behalf of uh, Yahweh telling them that they are worshipping a false entity, a, a evil spirit. And they say that when they were doing what Yahweh asked of them, they were not having as many things as they wanted. So that's why they decided to go back to the Queen of Heaven, because of the material things that they were receiving. And I'm just uh, saying a few things of the whole story because it is even deeper. But that's the same thing that is being said here. Just like a woman sells her body for material things, money or um, precious stones or whatever, a people tend to follow a doctrine that shows them that they can become rich materially in this reality. So when people have the focus on this world, then they will follow those type of beliefs, those types of churches, like uh, those of the prosperity uh, doctrine. And um, also many times we come out of those false doctrines and start following Yahweh. And then a spiritual war begins that, ha that was not happening before because we were in falsehood. So once we begin in the truth, there is a spiritual war and sometimes that means being tested as i was saying when one comes to the truth and a spiritual war begins and that's when people sometimes are tested and obviously even tempted to go back to the world go back to the false doctrine because they are told by the enemy by their flesh that they were doing better before for whatever reason that has to do actually with this reality perhaps they weren't having any issues with uh, in a, a family member that happens to not believe in Yahweh and Yahushua so now when they come to the truth there are certain certain issues sadly because of the different yoke so then um, some people tend to prefer to go back to what they had instead of continuing uh, gaining knowledge and getting closer to Yahweh and the same with a bunch of other things so my point is that this world is deceiving and many people when they come to Yahweh they tend to see this world turning against them and that makes them turn against Yahweh and what they are beginning to learn because they don't want to lose whatever they have in this world and that's why Yahweh, Yahushua tells us that he who becomes a friend of the world becomes an enemy of Yahweh. So, it says, I will not have mercy on her children, for they are the children of harlotry. For their mother has played the harlot. She who conceived them has behaved shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers, who give me my bread and my water. So they don't want the bread and water of life, Yahushua HaMashiach. They want their own bread and water. They want their own Messiah, one who tells them what they want to hear. They want that false doctrine. Who give me my bread and my water, Who my wool and my linen, my oil and my drink. Those false doctrines, I repeat, that uh, the false spirit would be the oil, the wool and linen, the security they believe they have for the next life. 